all right so today we are going to unbox macbook m3 pro so let's have a look at it what we got here so this includes 18 gb ram and 512 gb ssd This latest addition to Apple's lineup promises to bring performance and efficiency to the next level. So let's dive right in and see what this machine has to offer. Then you have the, the cable. So this comes in MagSafe 3. So it's not MagSafe 1, MagSafe 2. It is MagSafe 3. But this uh, laptop can be also charged with USB-C. So it does have four USB-C and MagSafe 3. So you have basically five charging ports. That's a very good thing. So then you of course have the, the documentation. And here as usual, the Apple does provide you with the, with the logos, MacBook, like the Apple logo. And then some other instruction. I'm not sure if you already use MacBook, you don't need you need to go through those instructions anyway and then you have the charger so this charger basically is 70 watt as you can see here so this is a 70 watt version it's a bit smaller than what we were getting with the intel i9 or other processor so it's much smaller i would say that is like that i have it here but uh, i need to find it so yeah basically it comes with the charger then it comes with this documentation and the magsafe Table. Right. So the MacBook M3 Pro is a sleek and stylish device, continuing Apple's tradition of minimalist and elegant design. But it's not just about looks, let's talk about what's under the hood. The M3 Pro is powered by Apple's new M3 chip, which promises up to 30% better performance compared to its predecessor. This chip features an 8-core CPU and a 14-core GPU, making it a powerhouse for both productivity and creative tasks. So, whether you are editing high-resolution videos, running complex simulations, or just multitasking, the M M3 Pro handles it all with ease. Let's take a look how it performs in real world. So, before that, let's set it up let's choose the language and do all the other other things that we need to do in order to make it running so this is basically pretty slim as you can see that it's really slim you have the, here the mag safety two usbs the audio jack and of course as well the other side you have uh, one USB C HDMI built in, so basically, this does not come with the i9 or other Intel versions or in other, as you can say, uh, not M series. So, this is basically the third M, M series laptop. So, it is a uh, it's after M2 and M1. Of course, M1 also does very good job in it. So, I would say, what are the pros and cons that why you would go for M1 or M2 rather than M3? So the surface that they make it is really good it's really nice and the size 14.2 inch is really amazing i would definitely say if you don't want to get the macbook air then definitely go for the m3 m2 or m1 pro but 14.2 or 14 version 14 inch version so let's try to open it i basically set it up a few days before so here you go course how can i forget that you can get basically with this laptop you can get 18 hours of battery like web surfing sending emails reading documents and so on 18 hours a battery is a really really amazing deal and that is the that is one of the reason why i went with the macbook m3 
our MacBook Pro version. Of course, the Air also gives around the same, but Air does not have the fan. And I was really thinking about like if I get it, but it could be the it could get you know the heat issues. Of course, there is a passive passive cooling, but I would rather go for with the fan, you know, the conventional way. So, you Android developer, for example, you want to download the Android Studio, what you need to do is when you will go to Android Studio, then what you when you will try to download it, and then it will give you of course that and then you can here look at macbook either m with intel chip or macbook with apple chip so if you are using m1 m2 or m3 you need to go with the uh, apple chip and then of course setting up android studio is really really easy and nice there is no glitch no you don't need to worry about it a lot so this uh, macbook basically i got it i would say around a week and i'm using not of course every day because i have the other laptop in the intel version which i'm currently using it but that time I got it with the, with the battery of I think some 80 or some percent or even less and now it's only 32 percent battery now it's even 32 percent battery so the battery is really amazing of course now the Microsoft basically released the co-pilot version which does say that it performs even better than the M3 version well I do not like the Windows operating system anymore so I cannot say anything about that but I would definitely uh, go with the m3 version of course there is another thing you can see the another video which i will put it uh, or i will try to put the link that where i reviewed the macbook m1 the 14 inch version which is almost the same thing of course i'm saying almost the thing there are requirements there are changes in it for example the cores the gpu cores or the cpu cores or even for example the ram this contains 18 gb and the other contains 16 gb or m1 pro comes with this uh, with a 14 gb also Oh, sorry 16 gb so there is not much difference if you are not so heavy user you're not using you know a lot of machine learning models and so on you're basically just using you know simple pycharm with python programming using pycharm or visual studio code or, or, or things like that you will not feel much difference so this basically now comes with 2500 euros in from germany so 2500 euros and i got discount of around 400 so it was 2100 euros and i could pay with the installment so that's possible with amazon not on all products but you can buy it using that uh, that you don't need to pay up front you know you can divide it into five months but if you want to look at the m1 version i would definitely ask you i recommend you to go to the local facebook market uh, to f try to find m1 because anyway you cannot find the m1 version the new the pack model so but i would definitely ask you if you want that it you can cost it can cost you around like 1200 or 1300 max i would say never pay more than that for m1 pro because as you the battery cycle of this of course as i got it new it was only one battery cycle and the m1 version if you can get it around 40 50 cycles i think that's pretty okay and these macbooks are built to last like forever i would say definitely if you build by macbook it can last for more than more than eight years easily because i'm using the intel i9 version for four and a half years of course the battery is damaged but i would say i don't need battery a lot because i work from home and i have the charger all the time so if, it, if i don't want to replace it that can still go for another five years so that's all the pros and cons the cons is of course the con only i would say is a bit cost except cost i would say there is no con in it there is only the good things that i mentioned so the camera is good the performance is really good the battery is amazing the com compatibility and you know you can easily travel with it so it's pretty compact i would say you can easily put it in your bag and you will not feel much because it's only 1.55 kilogram or 1.55 kg as in other way so it's pretty light i would definitely say if you want if you're looking for a compact and powerful laptop definitely go for m3 and if you want the similar or almost similar performance but if you're on a budget then go for macbook m1 or m2 pro i am not a fan of macbook airs so i would not recommend that anyway so if you have any question related to related to m3 pro or any other video that i have please uh, let me know in the comment and of course it would be really amazing if you could share this video and like and subscribe the channel Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.